and welcome back everybody this is your Maya Sensei speaking how are you guys doing hope you have a wonderful day so today we're going to talk about the some basic sculpting we just continue from where we left off in the previous video in this one specifically I'm going to focus on the brushes that I'm using for the planks and kind of talk about the general workflow and then once I'm done with that I'm going to leave it so you guys to enjoy the watch and watch the rest of the video and then listen to some audio as I'm doing the speed sculpt so the first thing that I want to mention to you guys is going to be the first brush and this is going to be the orb brushes you can actually go download these from the internet just look it up look for a specific orb brushes and you will find a really nice set of orb brushes so my workflow as I'm thinking and working through this I'm trying to discover and find certain wood grains that kind of gives me the indication of uh, you know natural aging Kind of break it up into you know different effects like um, you know, trying to find a cross hatching cross lines that goes through the mesh and then as i'm doing this i'm also thinking of how the the, the wood is kind of um, whether it's cartoony or more realistic and just kind of find the elements that kind of works for me and the first two or three assets is typically kind of me discovering and finding the style that i would like to approach so it might be a bit of a backwards and forwards kind of feeling and then once I'm happy with the way I'm approaching it I would then just replicate that over and over throughout all the different meshes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto one of the other elements. Once I have those I'm going to subdivide the mesh. I'm going to start using a specific brush. This time we're using the trim dynamic. This brush is very useful for flattening out certain angles. Kind of discovering and finding those kind of natural aging and grains trying to break the wood up into different parts as if it's been you know cut and broken up over time and then once i have that i would then repeat the same process by jumping back onto the, the ore brush and then using a nice strong sharp alpha to slice through the mess uh, as I'm doing this, uh, I've discovered that when I was using the trim dynamic brush and flattening out certain angles, I was able to find the feeling of the wood plank, how it's been broken up a lot easier before I started using the actual uh, ore brush. So what I'm thinking about here is how the woods may be you know, pressed up against something else, if there was some sort of a rain or wet environment where this wood was kind of rotting away and those things or those elements would typically affect the way that the wood is going to rot and kind of break away. So I'm trying to tell a story through each of these elements and this might be something that you can draw directly from a reference or it might be something that you just kind of feel your way and just trying to tell the story as you sculpting it. So many times um, I would you know, play around, find my way. I'm not setting into a specific uh, approach. I'm still just seeing what works for me and what works for this piece as it tells its own story. For the most part, that's what I will be applying to most of these brushes. And you can see I'm doing a little bit more of a stylized approach by adding some sort of a knot, cutting through the mesh, giving it a feeling of aging and some interesting Kind of uh, a cartoony kind of energy as I'm applying it. So I want you guys to enjoy the rest of the video and just listen to some music and keep watching me sculpt this.